Some like them hot, some like them not. But the one thing we can agree on is that buffalo wings are tasty as f Today we're gonna make buffalo wings two different ways, your classic buffalo style, and then a mouth-watering honey sriracha sauce that will bring buffalo wings to another level completely. Let's get started. <laughs> Just like any other recipe that we feature on this channel, the key to really good food is being sure to use quality ingredients. But as far as the sauce for buffalo wings is concerned, the key to authentic and mouth-watering wings are the correct ingredients. To make our traditional buffalo sauce, we're going to take 170 grams or three quarters of a stick of salted butter and melt it in a saucepan over low heat until it looks like this. After our butter is nice and melty, we're going to add it in our hot sauce. I chose to use Frank's Red Hot because it is the most traditional hot sauce that there is for making authentic buffalo wings. So anyway, we're going to take the bottle of Frank's Red Hot, 12 ounces or 350 milliliters to be exact, and add it into our saucepan where our butter has already been melted. Stir that bad boy up so everyone can get to know each other and turn off the heat too. Just let the mangling continue. I feel like if I sing, everything just ends up tasting better. Anyway, we're going to add in one tablespoon of garlic powder, and then we'll allow the mixture to cool for a few minutes, and then pour it into whatever jar you have to save it for later. Now that we've made our sauce, we can start on our chicken. First things first, we want to make sure that our chicken wings are totally dry. Take a paper towel, or a few for that matter, and pat down the wings on both sides until they're dry. Then, into a large pot, we're going to pour our canola oil until it's about halfway full. After the pot is filled with our frying oil, we're going to heat the oil until it reaches around 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. Once that oil has reached our desired temperature, we're going to add our chicken wings into the frying oil one by one. Now, we're going to fry this in batches so that way we can allow the wings to cook evenly, so be sure not to crowd the pot. Also, be sure to give the wings a little stir every once in a while to make sure they don't stick together. After about 12 to 13 minutes, check the wings to be sure that they're done. You'll know they're done if they look golden brown just like this, or if the internal temperature is around 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 73 degrees Celsius. Place your finished wings onto a wire rack with a pan underneath it to allow any excess oil to drip off and we're going to get ready for our final stage. The best part, the sauce toss. Okay, first we're going to place our chicken wings into a bowl, and we're going to add back as much of our traditional buffalo sauce as we want. Why as much as we want, you ask? Because this is my show, and because we damn well can. Toss the wings around in the bowl until everything is coated, and plate these heavenly morsels of fried chicken goodness onto a plate. You can serve it with blue cheese, take a bite, and then make sure to slap yourself out of the trance you just entered, so you can continue enjoying your buffalo wings. Now I imagine right now you're saying, Evan, that was really great, but how do we make buffalo wings even better? Well, my friends, I'm glad you asked. This next recipe for buffalo wings is constantly on repeat in my house and it's one of my greatest hits. It's honey sriracha wings. Into a bowl, we're going to add 50 milliliters or one and a half ounces of sriracha, 50 milliliters or one and a half ounces of honey, and 150 milliliters or five ounces of ranch dressing and whisk them together until they become homogenous. Next, we're going to cover the bowl with plastic wrap, or at least we're going to try to. I swear, every single time I try to get plastic wrap out of the box, it never works. Uh, I don't even know. It, it's just insane. But anyway, we're going to cover it with plastic wrap, and we're going to put it in the refrigerator for when we use it later. Now, we're going to repeat the same steps as we did before, but with one difference. First, we pat our chicken wings dry with paper towels, and next, we're going to coat the wings in our dry mixture, which consists of equal parts all-purpose flour and corn flour. Also in this mix is salt, pepper, and paprika to taste. Now that we've breaded our chicken wings, we're going to shake off any excess dry mix, and again, we're going to add our wings into our hot oil for 12 to 13 minutes until they look just like this. Hey there, big boy. Next, we place the now cooked chicken wings onto a wire rack with a pan underneath to let any excess oil drip off and we're ready to go back to our sauce toss. Drop these bad boys into a bowl, grab our honey sriracha sauce and toss them together. 
Place them on a plate, sprinkle some chopped chives on top to garnish, and serve with some creamy blue cheese dressing for dipping. Damn, this tastes so good. I'm sorry, but these wings just really bring it out of me. Now I just have one question for you. Are you ready to get saucy? If you like what you saw in this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, if you want the full recipe in a written format, go to my website, evancaris.com, for the whole thing. See you guys next week.